The level of hostility between China and Taiwan has peaked. By taking a proactive stance on Thursday China launched 11 missiles. This has been confirmed by the Taiwanese administration. These missiles have been launched in the direction of the surroundings. However, there are reports that the rocket's landing was in Japan. Five Chinese missiles reportedly fell on Japanese soil, according to a statement from Japan's defense minister. Because it directly affects our nation's security, this is a critical issue. There can be no compromise on people's safety. By the way, this Chinese move is concerning because on Wednesday, 27 Chinese fighter aircraft were spotted in Taiwan's airspace. As a result, Taiwan also turned on its missile defense system. Following that altercation, the two nations will meet once more on Thursday. China often warns Taiwan and uses missiles to scare under the name of military drills. America has now penned the story of the animosity that first arose between the two nations. China has been making threats ever since U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi paid a visit to Taiwan. Even though Pelosi has since left Taiwan, the conflict between the two nations has grown since America's involvement. Let us inform you that the Chinese army will conduct military drills from August 4 to August 7 in six distinct locations that encircled the island of Taiwan from all sides, according to an official media report. In addition, Chinese analysts, as cited by the Global Times, claim that this practice by China was exceptional because the PLA missiles were anticipated to fly over Taiwan for the first time. The already present tension may become even more intense in this circumstance. America is currently talking about assisting Taiwan and pledging to provide security. Taiwan, however, cannot have uncritical faith in America, given the current circumstances there. The greatest illustration of this may be found in the Russo-Ukrainian War, in which the US initially actively encouraged Ukraine to rebel against Russia by consistently supporting it. However, as soon as hostilities began, America declined to send its army there as well and instead focused primarily on imposing sanctions on Russia. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.